In this video, we're going to be covering the type tool. The type tool is located on the left side of the artboard, and it's the giant T. The shortcut for the type tool is actually the letter T. Before we get into that, I want you to notice the top of the artboard of the entire window, and you can see that there is a toolbox up there that has fill and stroke, has the stroke weight, different effects, things like that opacity but when you have the type tool and you select it you'll notice that it changes on the top left you have the different fonts and the sample fonts you can choose from you have regular which stands for if you want regular text italicized or if you want bold you have the size of font you have if you want to all caps small caps underlined, strike through, kerning, tracking, vertical scale, baseline shift, horizontal scale, skew, and then over here you have the paragraph. You can align left, center, right, and then you have the indentations as well. Whenever you're going to be using text in InDesign, you want to drag, so click and drag, like a, and create a text box. Then you're able to type anything you want into it. You can zoom in on it. All right, so once it's typed, you want to make sure it's selected. It's just like anything else on the pasteboard, excuse me, on the artboard. So you want to make sure it's selected, then you can change the font if you want to. You can make it regular, or you can make it, actually it's just regular, this font. If you pull up the, pull up the font menu again, these small triangles on the right side show if, it, if there's more options. So let's stick with, it. there we go. You can change the font size here, make it bigger, make it all caps, smaller caps. Now you notice if you make it all caps like that, and it'll be too big for the bounding box, the text box, it'll actually begin to wrap around. When you do that, you want to go back to the selection tool and then stretch out the bounding box. And then go back to type tool, hit T, highlight it, then you can go back to changing the adjustments. You want to underline, you can do that. If you wanted to change it, stretch it out horizontally, you can do it that way, or you can come over on the right side and change it to the preset horizontals, the numbers. Same with, excuse me, that was vertical, now you can do it with horizontal. And then right here we have the fill and the stroke. The fill is what's the inside. So right now the stroke is black, excuse me, the fill is black, so we can change it to yellow if we wanted and then we can change the stroke to black. We'll go back over to the selection tool and you can see that now we have two tone type. And we'll, go to sh we, we'll go to the preview mode and you can see it says welcome to graphic design. It's yellow with black stroke. We go back over to stroke, make sure we have it selected with the tool, the type tool. Then we can add the weight to the stroke right here. By doing that, the outline will become thicker. So that is how to use the type tool. The next aspect of it I want to show you is the type on a path. Type on the path is found under the type tool. So you go over the type tool, hold it down. You see type on a path tool. To, to use the type on a path tool, you actually have to create a path. To do this, you can use the pen tool or the pencil tool or any of the shape builder tools, the rectangle frame, or the rectangle tool, the ellipse tool, or the polygon tool. For this, let's use the pen tool. Remember with the pen tool, it's connecting the dots. We're going to click once, click twice, and we're going to create an arc, and then we're going to do it again. Go to the selection tool, select it, go to swatches, go to fill, and erase the fill. Alright, so now we just have our original line. Now what we can do, go to the type on a path tool, select it. You'll notice that my cursor now has a line through the dot, a line through the middle of it. Once I mouse over a path that I can type on, there'll be a small plus sign. Once that plus sign's there, I can click on the path and my cursor is now on that path. So I can type out whatever I want to say. Then I can highlight it, 
and everything's the same as with the type on a path or oh, excuse me with the type tool I can make the font larger and I can stretch it out keep making the font larger until it takes up the entire path and then I can add change the fill and the stroke so let's make the fill blue the stroke black all right what I can do after this which is nice is it does look pretty cool having the stroke under it the line if I click on it once the original stroke from the pen tool is what's highlighted so I can go over here to stroke go to weight and put it at zero and when I do that the stroke line will disappear and now my text is just float floating there it's really cool to use um, this has been the type tool and the type on a path tool.